And I was diagnosed right away, instantly, like the second I walked in the hospital. I had fever, um, I was throwing up, I had an abscess and a fistula, which are common complications of Crohn's, and I spent 12 days in the hospital when I found out. Crohn's is a disease that infects the lining of your digestive tract and it causes symptoms such as stomach pain, um, abdominal cramping, nausea, vomiting, um, weight loss, fatigue. Those are some of the many symptoms that I deal with on a daily basis. I was very overwhelmed when this was happening. Um, I was going through other personal things. I was extremely overwhelmed. I was having fevers and nausea and stomach pain and honestly I was in a bad place mentally. I was crying a lot. Just trying to absorb everything that was happening because to find out that you have Crohn's and then find out what it's really like and the severity of what was going on, it was a lot to deal with. Fast forward a few months later, I got an MRI and I found out that I needed surgery, that basically the damage was so irreversible that there was nothing that they could do. Medicine stopped working for me. So in November, I had my surgery where they basically took out part of my small intestine, part of my large intestine, and my appendix. It was a four and a half hour surgery and it left me with an ileostomy bag. Having the bag definitely affected my life a lot differently than I expected. It was actually a positive experience because I learned to accept it instead of just spending every day miserable having the bag. Um, because of the bag, I don't have stomach pain. Um, they were able to basically give my body a rest. Throughout finding out I had Crohn's, I also found out that I had a cancerous tumor. Um, it was actually found on my appendix. It was taken out during the surgery. So I did have cancer and I did not know, but because of us finding it so early, it was fine. They took it out, it didn't spread. Um, it was scary at the time being to find that out and then having to go see an oncologist and deal with that as well. But that was also another part of my journey that made me stronger. She's doing good. Very proud of you, Bray. She's been a real positive trooper, I gotta say even through all the little hurdles. Thank you. When I found out I had Crohn's, I decided to share it publicly. I would post videos on my TikTok. Um, I post YouTube videos for people. I posted my surgery journey. I posted uh, me changing my bag. Um, I got a very positive response. My friends and my family, everyone supporting me. I definitely did feel a little insecure about it, but I'm the type of person that I like to put myself out there. I like to post pictures and spread positivity because I know a lot of other people my age go through this and it's hard when you're going through it at first to kind of adjust to see, you know, just seeing myself with a bag was definitely weird. But the positive response definitely really helped. Everyone is super supportive and the support is what makes me want to post more. That's what gets me through this whole journey is everyone commenting and sharing their well wishes and everything. In the next year, I hope for my health to be a lot better. I hope to continue sharing my journey and to inspire more people. And in a year from now, I'll be graduated from college, so I also hope to have found a job. And I just want to show other people that you could still live your life and get a job and do things and travel regardless of your health and having Crohn's disease.